Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for our national anthem, which will be sung today by Brianna Johnson, class of 22. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Good morning and welcome to Newman University's 56th Annual Conferring of Degrees. On behalf of every member of the Newman University family, I'd like to offer our sincerest congratulations to the graduating class of 2022. We're, we're gonna do that a lot over the next hour, so don't get too tired of it. On this momentous occasion, we have to pause and thank God, Saints John's Newman, Saint Francis of Assisi, and Mother Frances Bachman for the blessings bestowed upon us here at Newman University and upon this holy hill. At this time, we would like to take a moment to thank any veterans of the United States Armed Forces or those who are currently serving 
and everyone who may be graduating in attendance with us today in those fields. Please stand if you're a member of the Armed Forces, current, active, or reserve. Anybody? All right. I, I told you we're going to do this a lot. It, it came right now. Will the graduating class of 2022 please rise? That's you guys. So folks, you're going to hear this a lot today. There's going to be a lot of uh, speeches. There's going to be plenty of music. We will, of course, confer degrees. But we need to begin with something uh, a little more active. I want you guys to look around, look at everybody who's helped to get you here, your faculty, your friends, your family. And I want you to give them a round of applause. You may now be seated. It's my pleasure now to announce the Graduate and Adult Individual Academic Awards. These select awardees are the best of the best in their area of study. And we'll start with the School of Education and Human Services. The St. Francis of Assisi Award for Outstanding Graduate in Clinical, Melth Clinical Mental Health Counseling is awarded to a student graduating from the Clinical Mental Health Counseling Master's Program. The Clinical Mental Health Counseling at Newman University engages in a holistic approach to mental health counseling with an emphasis on spiritual and pastoral integration. The aim of the program is to prepare students to meet the unique mental health and spiritual demands of a culturally diverse world. The award goes to an individual who has achieved excellence in the combination of academic pursuits and clinical practice. I'm sorry, we, we missed something. I have to do the invocation, have the invocation done. Thank you, Eric. PhD in theology, and I miss the invocation. <laughs> Sister, I apologize. I skipped right over you. It was right there, Sister Kathy. Go over here. I don't think God cares when we pray, right? Just so we pray. So please join me. Loving God, source of all life, known in infinite ways, we thank you for your sacred presence with us today, reflected in each member of the class of 2022. We experience wonder and joy in the giftedness and accomplishments of these graduates. We thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon them throughout their studies. We know that their work is not done. Give them the strength to carry our values of reverence, integrity, service, excellence, and stewardship with them as they go forth from Newman University. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love guided by your light so that they may use their talents to create a world marked by peace, justice, and compassion. May their lives be a blessing to all. Amen. Thank you, Sister. I went to Catholic school my entire life. It's not the first or last time I will have disappointed a nun, I assure you. The St. Francis of Assisi Award for Outstanding Graduate in Pastoral Clinical Mental Health Counseling goes to, and I know him, Lewis Edward Johnson.
Our second award this morning, the Sister M. Everilda Flynn Award for Excellence in the Master's Level Education Program is awarded to a student graduating from the Master of Science in Education Program who has demonstrated intellectual excellence and professional expertise and demonstrates a commitment to social justice through service to others. It gives me great pleasure to present this award to Amber Lynn Reese. The next award is the John A. Kaczynski Award for Excellence in the Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership Program. And it's awarded to a student graduating from the Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership Program who has demonstrated intellectual and professional excellence and has provided service to the university and the wider community, exemplifying our RISE's values. It gives me great pleasure to present this award to Mieja Malia Cubito. Note to self, longer ribbons on awards for next year. Did you hear that, Nancy? Longer ribbons. The Sister Margaret Bonner OSF, Sister Kathleen Cronin OSF Award of Excellence in the Graduate Nursing Program goes to a student graduating from the Master of Science in Nursing Program who has achieved academic excellence, is a visionary, uses creative uses of Newman systems, integrates Franciscan values by quality of relationships with peers, faculty, clients, and other health professionals. The recipient of this award is Monica Sweeney Burdett. Our second award in the School of Nursing and Health Sciences is the Edward Brock Price Class of 99 Award for Excellence in Physical Therapy. The recipient of this award has demonstrated consistent excellence in academics, high quality of final research project and presentation, active participation and enthusiasm for learning, professional conduct, as well as the values of integrity, respect, and service for others. It's my pleasure to present this award to Ryan Vincent Sexton.
You never thought it'd be this fun, did you? The final award is our faculty award for excellence in graduate teaching. It is awarded to a full-time faculty member and is selected based on knowledge of her or his discipline or field. The ability to generate critical thinking, teaching techniques used to accommodate different learning styles, and encouragement of student development. This year's faculty award in excellence in graduate teaching goes to Dr. Laura McLaughlin, professor in education. And how about a, uh, a round of applause for all of our awardees today? Will the candidates for the degree Master of Science in the School of Business please rise and stand in place? President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree Master of Science in the School of Business. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Newman University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science together with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Anissa Beatsy, Accounting. Elizabeth Violet Flounders Brower, Accounting. Elizabeth Sabrowski, Accounting. Nicole A. Calvecchio, Accounting. Joshua Stephen Bittler, Organizational Strategic Leadership. Marcus Edward Dickerson, Sports Business. Brian Miguel Limos Pires, Sports Business. <laughs> Jeffrey T. Wilson, Sports Business. <laughs> Bria Graves, Accounting. Chadwick W. Johnson, Organizational Strategic Leadership. <laughs> Ashley Chanel Ann Carter, Organiz Organizational Strategic Leadership. <laughs> Tyrone Wallace Jr., Accounting.
Will the candidates for the degree, Bachelor of Science, in the School of Business, Adult, and Continuing Education, please rise and stand in place. President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree, Bachelor of Science in the School of Business, Adult, and Continuing Education. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Newman University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science, together with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Ramona Gasparri, Business and Organizational Studies. Takina Nikita Bradley, Business and Organizational Studies. Abby Nicole Goldman, Liberal Studies. <laughs> Timothy West, Public, Public Safety Administration. <laughs> Joseph William O'Neill, Public Safety Administration. Michael Joseph Rollinghoff II, Public Safety Administration. <laughs> Paul James Gersio, Public Safety Administration. <laughs> Michael Pollock, Public Safety Administration. Thomas Patch, Public Safety Administration. Andrew K. Oliver, Public Safety Administration. Natalie D. Carapi, Public Safety Administration. Jessica Diaz, Public Safety Administration. Will the candidate for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Education and Human Services please rise and stand in place? President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidate for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in the School of Education and Human Services. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Newman University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctorate of Philosophy with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all the requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Jana Rochelle Garvin, Pastoral Counseling. Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Education in the School of Education and Human Services please rise and stand in place. <laughs> President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree Doctor of Education in the School of Education and Human Services. 
by virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of New University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctorate of Education with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Ryan Daniel Stevens, Education. Gina DiCamillo, Education. Misha Malio Cabido, Education. Carolyn Reed Wood, Education. Kwanzaa A. Waters, Education. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Education and Master of Science in Pastoral Clinical Mental Health Counseling in the School of Education and Human Services please rise and stand in place. <laughs> President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Education and Master of Science in Pastoral Clinical Mental Health Counseling in the School of Education and Human Services. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of New University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Lewis Edward Johnson, Pastoral Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Melanie R. Fink, Education. Savannah Morgan Buchanan, Education. Amber Lynn Reese, Education. Michael Kevin Hood, Education. Mary Catherine Stevens, Education. Gabrielle Ann Amore, Education. Taylor Nicole Hicks, Education. Taylor Savorza, Education. Carolyn M. Bingham, Education. Amanda Isabel Baez Wheeler, Education. Victoria L. Perez, Education. Holly Marsh, Education.
Jessica Faith Amarant, Education. Tori DeJesser Gracer, Education. Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Physical Therapy in the School of Nursing and Health Sciences please rise and stand in place? <laughs> President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree Doctor of Physical Therapy in the School of Nursing and Health Sciences. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of New University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctorate of Physical Therapy with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. Ryan Vincent Sexton. Physical Therapy. Matthew Shane Robinson, Physical Therapy. Ryan J. Strain, Physical Therapy. Patrick Ryan McGee. Physical Therapy. Zachary Tyler Yepes, Physical Therapy. Elaine Musserino, Physical Therapy. Gabrielle Lena Olcott, Physical Therapy. Caitlin Jester, Physical Therapy. Ashley Lauren Edwards, Physical Therapy. Stephen P. Smeck, Physical Therapy. George Lewis Gradwell, Jr., Physical Therapy. Jason Luna, Physical Therapy. Stephen M. Donnelly, Physical Therapy. Matthew R. Whiteneck, Physical Therapy. Christina Robin Welsh, Physical Therapy. Lisa Marie Politi, Physical Therapy. Emily Alexis Hertz, Physical Therapy. Maria Ruth Waterfield, Physical Therapy. Stephanie Ann Trento, Physical Therapy. Angela Marie Vial, Physical Therapy. Angela 
Lindsay Marie Didion, Physical Therapy. Christina Sarif, Physical Therapy. Matthew Bregger, Physical Therapy. Yatsek Giza, Physical Therapy. Scott Andrew Hess, Physical Therapy. Andrew George Baderis, Physical Therapy. Matthew Thomas Drake, Physical Therapy. Robert Jared De Gregorio Jr., Physical Therapy. Jeremy Evan Bess Pashik, Physical Therapy. Brian Edward Crenny, Physical Therapy. Will the candidates for the degree, Master of Science in the School of Nursing and Health Sciences, please rise and stand in place. <laughs> President Domes, in the name of the faculty and with their approval, I present to you the candidates for the degree, Masters of Science in the School of Nursing and Health Sciences. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Newman University by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and delegated by them to me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science with all honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto in recognition of the fulfillment of all requirements for this degree. Congratulations. <laughs> Lee Juan Wan, Nursing. Monica Sweeney Burdett, Nursing. <laughs> Faith Najiri Meraki, Nursing. Sakina Wajira Abdu Kahira, Nursing. John Funkmeni, Nursing. Aliyah M. Jones, Nursing. Sylvia W. Karanja, Nursing. Elizabeth Zermo, Nursing. Lauren Elizabeth Vergoli, Nursing.
Will all graduates please rise and turn to the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Newman University graduating class of 2022. Please be seated. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce Ms. Lori Smith, President of the Newman University Alumni Association Executive Board. Congratulations on behalf of the Alumni Association. Graduates, please stand again. <laughs> the ceremony to induct each graduating class as members of the Newman University Alumni Association has been a tradition since 1972. There are three symbolic elements represented in the Sacred Heart Chapel for your class today. There is a candle that symbolizes light the light to the world, which is achieved through education, often symbolized in the lamp of learning. Around the candle, there are greens to represent life and hope. Life in the sense that while you will soon begin a new part of your life, you will also continue to be an important part of the life of Newman. Hope that you will carry with you into your new life the values, knowledge, and understanding that you have acquired during your life as a student at Newman. Hope also that you will use your knowledge and skills to improve the world in which you live and the lives of others with whom you have contact. And a glass of wine to represent the fruit of your labor. First of all, your labor devoted to many years of study and learning. You may now reap the benefits of that devotion to education. Represented also is the loving labor of the many people who made your reaping possible. Family and friends the Sisters of St. Francis who founded and sponsored this university, the faculty, administration, and staff whose lives are devoted to education, and the many people whose support make it possible for Newman to be as excellent a place of learning as it can be. As the president of the Alumni Association, it is my privilege and pleasure to officially induct you as members of the Newman University Alumni Association. We welcome you and hope that the years ahead will be fruitful for each of you as individuals and for all of us together. God bless. Graduates, to signify your graduation, will you please move your tassels from the right to the left? Congratulations. I would now like to invite President Domes back to the podium for his closing remarks. Yes. How are y'all doing, okay? Doing well? This is great. This is an incredible moment in so many ways. Just look around and soak this moment in. You've accomplished so much. And as you walked across the stage today, I was reminded that each of you are going to go out into the world. You're already out there doing amazing things, but you're going to be out there in the world in the front lines as first responders, as physical therapists, as nurses and educators, as leaders in our community. And here at Newman University, I hope we've armed you with all that you need. We believe we have. 
You've been surrounded by terrific faculty, an educational environment that's helped you and lifted you up along this journey. And we believe you're the kinds of leaders we need in our world today, truly on the front lines, helping, healing, supporting, educating, leading, doing the things that are so critical to our world. I'd like to say today, thank you for saying yes to those things. Thank you for committing to this work ahead. In the last two and a half years, you've done this work with some challenges, some moments along the way that haven't been easy. In fact, you sat as students in a historical time. If we look back 100 years from now, you're going to say these students did amazing things at a point in history that was profound and challenging, difficult, but you did it. So not only did you say yes to an important work, to an important opportunity and experience ahead of you to help people, to heal, to be there for others, but you did it in a time of difficult and challenging days. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There's a, there's a great quote from the Gospel of Luke that I think sums up so much of what we hope happens today and what we hope you take away. From everyone who has been given much, much will be required. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, even more will be expected. We're expecting great things out of you. We need you to make a difference in the world. And hopefully we've, we've helped you to navigate the times ahead. Life will be filled with successes and failures. But I know as humble leaders, living lives of profound stewardship, reverence, integrity, excellence, I know you'll be people who will continue to live the Newman values. I hope you've learned in this experience that there's mentors in your life who truly care about you. The faculty, who I want to just applaud today for the work that they did help in this journey. Thank you so much to the faculty of Newman University. Your family members, thank you so much to the moms and dads, grandparents, aunts, uncles, children, spouses, everyone in this room today who's helped. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And to your colleagues who you've met and you've learned to develop ex excellent relationships with by studying and connecting with one another, you have professionals that you can count on when you walk out of this room today that'll be there for you for the rest of your lives to support one another. That's a gift. Don't ever take that for granted. Remember as Franciscan leaders, you should always raise up those who need you most. The Sisters of St. Francis have taught us here at Newman University that we're always here to reach out to the marginalized, to those who need us the most. There are great examples of that. Take that into your lives with you. Make sure that that's a part of what you do every single day. You have tools, you have experiences, you have people. This will help you on your path forward. Be peacemakers, always give reverence to one another and the people you encounter. And finally, continue to do your very best. We're counting on you, we expect much out of you, and we know because you've received a Newman education that you're gonna do great things. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless Newman University, and congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you.
Everyone, please stand and join us in singing the Newman University alma mater, sung again by Brianna. It's on page 12 of your program. I think Brianna needs another round of applause. That's a hard song to sing. I would now like to introduce Father Philip Lowe, Associate Professor of Education, to deliver the closing benediction. Good morning. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May the dear Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his face to you and be merciful to you. May he turn his countenance to you and give you peace. May the Lord bless you in God's name, Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.